course, they're going to pile on us, Colonel. Now, the question is, I guess, how much more of it is there to be done? About 21 missions since the first of May. That's three times more than we're supposed to make. The ships are falling apart. I don't know, Sandy. I just don't know. Hey, hey! Let's go. Special orders, deliver by hand. You didn't read this. Well, let me read it to you. It says here that we have just gone through the roughest month of our lives and we're beat to our socks. And it says here that I am to issue passes, grant leaves, and set this group down for 10 days of rest and rehabilitation. And it's signed by Major General Britt, that tower of judgment and gratitude. <laughs> <laughs> It's about time. Major, will you ask General Britt to come down? General Pritchard and Air Marshal Kingsford have arrived. Oh, thank you. Is that his way, sir? He's... Oh, here he is. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. Air Marshal Kingsford. General. Sam. Oh, sir. Ed, I thought I'd make the rounds myself instead of calling a typical conference. Somehow, I get the feeling this might be the big one. Ed, we're going into the final phase of Operation Point Blank. That means the combined Allied bomber offensive goes all out, as of right now. We're going to make mush out of the Channel Coast. If you can find yourself a new G3, I'd like to keep Sam Adcock with us as acting liaison for the present. Round the clock affair, this. We'll hit them by night, you chat from dawn till dark. Strike you, Sam. I like the job. Ed, I'm checking each wing personally. Well, it's half a wing with me, General. I'm down to two groups. I've explained that we cannibalized the 82nd to fill out the 966. And I've just ordered what's left of Joe Gallagher's 918 to stand down for 10 days of R&R. &R. And you'd better revoke that order. I want the 918th in this. But, General, the 918th has taken the brunt of point blank for the last month. 21 missions in 30 days. Now, if this is real, that's one thing. But if it's a rehearsal... Uh... We're playing this as if it were the big one. Every flyable ship in the Bomber Command will participate. Revoke that order. I want Gallagher's outfit back on duty. Twelve o'clock high. A QM production. Starring Paul Burke. Also starring Frank Overton and Chris Robinson. With guest stars William Wyndham, Lyndon Childs, Tim McIntyre. Special guest star, Andrew Duggan. Tonight's episode, Gauntlet of Fire. I have a little enigma for you. I pulled Sam Adcock off a G3 desk for the time being, but he's due to move up. I don't think he'll be back. The job is open, and it's yours if you want it. Mine? Wing operations? Mm hmm Of course, it'll take you out of the air, and I know how you feel about flying. Well, I'm... I need a top-notch man, a man who is 110% committed to the job. General, I just don't know. Yesterday, when I came back from that mission, I was out there in the hard stand wondering if I could ever get myself back into a cockpit again, but... but now I... Well, suppose I give you my answer when I get back from leave, sir. 
There's another matter I had to uh, bring into. Where's your brandy? Where do you keep it? Let's have a drink. I don't uh, keep any here, sir. Joe, your leave has been cancelled. I'm putting you back on active duty as of tomorrow. You can't do that. We're going into the final phase of Operation Point Blank. We need every group we can get. We've gone into the final phase three different times already. Dry runs. Raincoats on, raincoats off. Well, one of these times, maybe this time, will be the real thing, and every rehearsal is important. How many times do you have to rehearse a disaster? I have no men, no machines. I know the condition of this group, and your replacements will be feeding in as of tonight. General, my men are tired. Colonel, this trip has cost me one hour of precious time. I could have sent you the order. Sent me the orders. What am I supposed to do now? Make a choice between this or G3? I just don't want this to influence your judgment. Enigma. This is not an enigma. If my men have to go back into action, then I don't make any hasty decisions. Sergeant, send somebody outside after Major Stovall. Tell him I need him in here right away. There's one other thing. I don't want this to prejudice you one way or the other. But nothing about Operation Point Blank is going to be easy. They want the 918th to fly the overleaf assignment. What's overleaf? Dropping leaflets. Citizens of France and friends. Uh, it has become absolutely necessary to bomb this city. Uh, reparations will be made. Now you must leave. Don't use the road. Scatter into the fields immediately. You're having a moment to lose. I mean, bombers are going to be dropping this stuff. Hey, hey! All right, all right, forget it. Forget it. Colonel, what kind of a detail is this, anyway? Don't let it get you down. It's just a milk run across the channel. Well, then what? We get our 10 days off? You sure this is just a milk run, Bill? At least there won't be any fighters. The Luftwaffe's been pushed back. Yeah, yeah! As you were, at ease. All right, gentlemen. This morning, Colonel Christie will lead, and I will fly mission control. Sir, can you tell us if we're going to stand down after this one? Ted Hurt! At ease. Sit down. Now let's try that again. Ted Hurt! As of now, all personnel are restricted to this base until further notice. At ease. Sit down. And the next time you snap to it. A ten hut. Gentlemen, I'm calling a recess to this briefing. So you can get back to your quarters and get into proper flying gear. Be back here in 15 minutes, ready to fly. Dismissed! Ramrod formation. Okay, now we're going in low and slow. That German infantry will be able to hit us with rocks. The flak is going to be bad, so caution your men to use their armor plate. Ramrod out. That little visit from General Britcher made a change in Colonel Gallagher. I mean, why would he make such a big deal on a little two-hour hop? The big shot is bucking, pal. My dog wants that G3 promotion. I don't think he cares who he hurts to get it. Ramrod of formation. Start the drop in 45 seconds. Pat. Was 
that Ted Barstow? Green leader to formation. Who was that we just lost? Who was it? Ramrod to Green leader. Shut that radio down. Joe, I think we just lost Pat Barstow. We're on the bomb run. Now get off the RT channel and get on the job. Ramrod out. Bombs away in 10 seconds. Kamansky, stand by back there. Four, three, two, one, go. Bombs away, close the doors. Sir, if they leave us alone here for a day or two, we can keep 16 aircraft in pretty good shape, even if replacement parts don't come in. I also got a rundown from maintenance. I've made out the requisitions. I'll push them through. All right. Put it on the desk. I'll get through it later. Well, Doc Kaiser's coming over with a hospital breakdown. He had one gunner killed and four injured by ground fire. Nine eighteenths, Colonel Christie. Okay, put him on. The colonel's right here. General Britt is coming on. Maybe now we'll get our 10 days. Hello. Sir. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, right away. Joe, I just want to tell you I'm sorry losing Pat Barstow hit me so hard. I'm okay now. General Britt wants to see me at Wing Headquarters. You uh, sign this stuff for me while I go change, will you? I want to take it with me. Oh, and Bill, I thought I made myself clear. I want to see all the men on this base clean and properly uniformed at all times. Here's Dr. Kaiser's report. Sign that too. Is he wound up pretty tight, or am I just getting old? How many aircraft flyable, Joe? Oh, uh, I think 16, sir. Thank oh. you. How many pilots certified to fly? That's all there in Doc Kaiser's report, General. Doc Kaiser's report. 24. Yes, sir, about that. Sam, will you bring in the overleaf projection, please? Sam Adcock? I thought he went to London. No, no, the RAF is sitting upstairs while Overlord is pending. General, when does the uh, payoff happen? Or will it? I noticed that all of your reports and requisitions are signed by Executive Officer Lieutenant Colonel Christie. Yes, sir. That's a convenience to me. Good man, I'm sure. Yes, sir. But it seems to me that a group commander always knows how many aircraft he has in flying condition, how many pilots. General, I... Hey, don't get up. Don't get up. Hello, Sam. How are you? Here's Overleaf next three days. I hear you're up for G3. Overleaf? I thought we were through with Overleaf today. No, we're not. We're having to bend with the wind. Overleaf is still on. Better grab that old desk of mine, Joe. It's going to get pretty rough where you're sitting now. This is a mammoth job of coordination, administration, and logistics. General, are you telling me that my group is still dropping leaflets? Twelve more times. In three days, four missions a day. It's impossible, but it will be done. Sam just mentioned the G3 job. Sir, am I supposed to be weighing that against this? The G3 job can wait three days. I didn't know this was coming up, but it has come up, and I want you in control there. And Joe, I mean in control. Done. Tarby. Where's Joe? Hospital with Doc Kaiser getting a fast physical. Harv, he's got to do something about these rumors. 
What rumors? Does he want the G3 or not? I mean, some of the guys are beginning to believe that he's riding us into the ground for his own ambition. What do you think, Bill? All right. Did you ask for overleave? We're under maximum security. Are we? That's not what you told the men. All you told them was confined to base in proper uniform. Now, if they're not going to get their 10 days off, tell them, Joe. They're beginning to think you don't care. Harvey, I'm going to bed. Joe, I've got some stuff here. Well, Colonel Christie's still the executive officer, and he isn't flying tomorrow. I am. <laughs> Ramrod of formation. We're three minutes from Yourville. Maintain 1,500 feet minimum altitude. I want each element to make its own drop, break, and head for home. Ramrod out. Who was that? Hitting us with ground fire. Losing one, sir. Losing red able. Ramrod to Red Able. Bail out now. Let the airplane go and bail out now. I know I'm out of line. Why don't you sit this one out? Everybody else is alternating. Unfortunately, I'm fresh out of combat leaders. Well, Colonel Christie's good. You remember when Pat Bostow's ship went down? Yes, sir. He took it pretty bad. They were buddies. Well, maybe later in the Eads, but not now. Right now, the man is too tired. What are you, sir? They're all sizes. Dispensary. Sir, I'm sorry. A man with a broken nose cannot perform his duties in the air at a time when he is most needed in the air. How many lives will that man's absence up there cost? Was it worth it? Sir? I started it. You can bust me if you want, but it's, it's my fault. Why? Well, those plugs came out of one of my engines. He took them. Why? Well, I needed them, sir. That is, uh... Well, there aren't enough spark plugs on this base to go around. 
why. All missions a day, sir. There's a hang-up everywhere. I can't get requisitions through fast enough to General get... Britt, someone has to look into this situation. The 918th cannot go on this way. these. Okay to fly, right, Doc? You shouldn't even want to, in my opinion, but you will. Doc, how many pilots are fit to fly? Fourteen. How many airplanes? Nine? Eight, I think. One without spark plugs. You're patient, Doctor. Oh, yes, sir. I, uh, I heard about the fight. Get back to your office. Start signing requisitions. Get on the telephone. Use your rank. You need supplies. General, I... And get in front of your men and make some sort of a statement. A statement? What kind of a statement, sir, without violating security? Moral encouragement, Colonel. Moral encouragement. That means a, a pep talk. And right now, my men would laugh at a pep talk. It would destroy the very thing I... I don't want any more argument from you, Joe. All right, General. All right. I have to take off in five minutes. This is the last mission of the day, sir. I promise you, when this is over, I'll This group needs its commander here. You are not just a pilot. Not just a pilot. Nobody's just a pilot. And a few I've got left, I, I can't command them to go up there and die, but I can lead them. Colonel, if you're running from that G3 job, forget it. General, I've never even given that a thought. Then your compulsion to fly and your fatigue have destroyed your judgment. You are herewith grounded. Go back to the desk in your office and you will properly administrate this group as of now. Or I'll cut orders declaring you unfit for command. I'll be there, but uh, the missions are all yours. All four? Yes, all four. And Bill. I'm sorry we lost Pat Barstow. I hope you knew that. I feel sure that you're okay now. That's the first time you've sounded like Joe Gallagher since... Answer me one thing, Joe. Are you leaving? I don't know. All I'm supposed to know now is what I see. Papers. These papers. Paper leaflets. Joe, for Pete's sake, tell the guys that's how you feel. But don't you understand? This is a rum-dum job for a combat outfit. The best. And it was the best. Now they're practically fed up. They're, they feel double-crossed and resentful. Yes, I know. Well, talk to them, Joe. They're sore. Of course, they're sore. And they have a right to be. They're sore at you. Bill, these are just kids. Kids that are driven beyond human endurance. But you're going to be leading them upstairs now. So you keep them sore at me. And you make them sore at you. is about the only thing that's going to get them through this mess. That must have been pretty funny, seeing the old man drive up. Right in the middle of a gang fight, a regular gang fight. <laughs> well, there he is. Uh, here's to Bill Christie, who stood up to Britain, stood up for the guys. Here's to the man who's running the show. May he be our next CO. All right, you men, this bar is... This bar is good for one more drink. On me. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? 
Somebody better turn that Toby mug around four times. Tomorrow is a big day. <laughs> every time we come over now. Did you tell Colonel Gallagher it's getting worse? Don, he knows. He knows exactly what he's doing, exactly what we're doing. If you think it's tearing the group apart, you should see what it's doing to him. ships back. Oh, where Captain Borrega found his strength to keep us in the air. Yeah. Well, the flak is getting worse. Yeah. You know, it's like they knew we were coming to Marquise. Well, maybe we don't know what this is all about, but I got a funny feeling they do. How, what about uh, Colonel Christie? Uh, was he... Um... Colonel Christie never knew what hit him, sir. Maybe they'll give him a leaflet for a headstone. Joe. What about Captain Berica? He died, Joe. Joe, Doc's got four pilots in the other room. All of them with headaches and such. Are they really sick? They could be sick. I think they have been sick for two or three days. Now their head's cut off, they're coming unglued. I don't understand. This is the very last mission. Joe, it's one too many. Harvey, have every pilot fit for duty in the briefing room in 10 minutes. Always goes one way for some guys. When well, they say the rich get richer, who got killed? Bill Christie. Get hit! As you were. I asked for all pilots fit for duty to report. Obviously, some of you are not. What are you doing here? I think maybe they just wanted to see what would happen, Colonel. Gentlemen, in 20 minutes, this group takes off for Doulon. I have four airplanes ready. I need just eight of you. Colonel, this group... Now, I know how this is going to sound, but this group has had it. Now, there are three or four of us here that Doc Kaiser said... if we wanted to, we could fly. But I'll tell you... even if we were ordered to fly, I don't think we can make it. Even if it's only one airplane... one airplane in the air, gentlemen... it's still the 918th. Are there two of you? One pilot. One co-pilot. All right. But I know of one ship that's going to try. Dead, huh? Dead, What ship does he mean? His own? I thought he quit flying. Where's 
is he going? Major? Where's the Colonel, sir? Which airplane? Don't tell me you young heroes are going back to work. He can't fly a B-17 by himself. Take 652. She's loaded. Colonel Gallagher is going to go. Why don't you just forget about it, son? Probably slap charges on me if I did. Go find yourself an airplane. Let's go. You know, you're violating General Britt's specific order. Where do you think you're going with that wounded leg? Get out of here. No, sir. Start three. Sergeant. Sir, General Britt may court-martial you for flying. You may court-martial me, but I'm going. Sir. Start four. to Ramrod, fighters. Pilot to crew, fighters at two o'clock high. Report damage. Uh, we're hitting the belly, sir. She's commencing to smoke.
happened, Captain? Fighters hit us, sir. And they shot Colonel Gallagher down. I ordered him not to fly. So we chickened out. So he flew. He took off and we followed him all it could. Maybe Overlord's underway. That'd explain a lot of things. Yeah, it sure would. Come on, Joe. That's a busy road. Let's find a better hiding place. Feeling, Sandy? I'm fine, sir. Did you find out where we are? I think so, Hoff. Come over here. See that hedge row and that rise over there? Well, the channel is just beyond, about a quarter of a mile, no more. What part of the channel, sir? Can we get to the beach or some kind of boat? Oh, we're gonna have to try. I know we're east of Cherbourg. There should be a fishing village around here somewhere. It's almost two o'clock. Let's try it now. There's so much troop movement, we'll never make it in daylight. I think you're right. Hans came when das Haus herein. Here finden uns bestimmt keine. Das will ich aber hoffen. Oma, wir Freude. Hier ist die Falltür. wie ein Ablenkungsmanöver aus. Die kommen doch über den Kanal in voller Stärke. Lass sie doch kommen. Unser Generalstab erwartet sie doch in Calais. Der Generalstab erwartet einen totalen Sieg für zwei Jahre. Das sind Schiffsgeschütze. Mensch, die legen aber los. Surrender.
You in the house? Come out, hands up! What the? Take it easy, Sergeant. Just take it easy. Hey. What goes on here? We're Americans. Americans? How'd you get here? What outfit are you? 920th combat team. We're the 918th bomb group. Welcome to Normandy. Joe, I'm giving you five days off, not ten, but five. Yes, sir. Uh, General, uh, what am I coming back to, sir? Court martial? I'm not going to tell you you were wrong about combat leadership. You disobeyed an order. You had to use your own personal example, and that's part of the game. You proved your point. Of course, I didn't fly to prove a point. Ah. You know, Joe, you are brilliantly qualified for this G3 job, and you know it, I and mean, you know it's the only way you'll ever move up. Well, I'll uh, do whatever I'm ordered to do. Oh, I'm sure you will. But you'll do it better if it's what you want to do, and you make it pretty clear what you want to do. Sir, I don't think my desire should interfere with the... Uh... Well, they do. The 918th needs you, Joe. To tell you the truth, that's where I want you. Yes, sir. It's too bad about Bill Christie and all of the others. Yes, sir. They saved uh, quite a few lives in France. And the beachhead is secure. Well, that... Uh... Yeah. Well, that'll be all, Joe. Yes, sir.